Hey, Hannah, how's the 4 a.m. wake up call thing going? Um. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm not in my 20s anymore. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But today's actually not my birthday. Oh, well, when was it? Um, three months ago. What? Boo. But listen, I, I just, I re I've learned so much in my life and I just like really wanted to make this video and I girl. haven't had time, but at least I'm doing it now. You know, like uh, better late than never. I'm a lazy YouTuber. Guys? Hello? Can I just share, share my list with you? If you have a history of introducing yourself to the same person you just met five minutes ago, you're probably face blind, which is a real thing. And don't worry because Jane Goodall has it, which now makes you slightly more interesting than you thought you were. If you feel like you're bad at dressing yourself, all you have to do is copy the exact style of your most stylish friends and then stop being friends with them completely because you match. And matching's the worst. E-readers are so stupid. How is anyone gonna know how many books you have? You wanna pull something off? All you gotta do is put it on. See these socks? Stop buying them, they're pointless. Stop making assumptions about what people think of you. You know, if, if you see someone's face like this looking at you, it can mean many things. It could mean like they've got gas, they're just confused, their dry lips just kinda got stuck that way. It doesn't actually mean they think you're crazy. <laughs> most of the time. If you call someone by the wrong name, just tell them you have a lazy eye and you're looking at the wrong person <laughs> and that you're face blind, which is a thing. If you want to make friends with someone, just ask if they read Twilight because you really don't want to get caught up in the wrong crowd. Smoking is not cool, but it still looks cool. Confidence is the most attractive quality because it tricks people into thinking you're super smoking hot. Stop wasting your time on YouTube. Please don't turn me off. Once and for all, there is a difference between cement and concrete. I just can't remember what it is right now. You know that senior from high school that you were totally obsessed with when you were a freshman and everyone thought he was high because he had these like lazy eyes and you like had a picture of him the whole time in your closet of him like flipping off the camera? <laughs> you might end up marrying him one day. This one just applies to me though. Your guy might actually have been high. French people put a space before their exclamation points and question marks. I don't know why. When you start texting in another language and then you go back to texting in your native language, your iPhone begins to not recognize you. No, not what's for diner, what's for dinner. Don't you even know me? Splurging is the grossest word to say, which is how I convince myself not to do it. It is so trippy when one of my friends becomes a parent. <laughs> so they're probably gonna be equally freaked out if I ever become one. <laughs> Community theater is an underrated and untapped well of some of the best entertainment and it's right down the street and it's typically free and you always get a good seat. Just go. Those guys work really hard for free and they really need your support. If you share with people that you only wash your hair twice a month, they'll be completely impressed and disgusted. You know that cute dog across the street that you've been staring at for the past five minutes? Just go over there and ask if you can pet him. You're gonna regret it if you don't. Your mom has probably been right about a lot of things this entire time. Before you get married, married people love to tell you how marriage is hard but worth it. They are correct. Mm -hmm. Everyone is thinking about themselves. No one cares that you have acne, and if they do, they're probably not a nice person, so run for the hills! Floss. Daily. It's not a waste of time for you to read the Harry Potter series once a year. <laughs> Even if you do miss a week of work every time Dumbledore dies. I am not a quitter. I just mindfully choose to end a season in my life when it's not serving me to become the best version of I quit things. Look, if you miss the boat, just get on the next one and then throw up immediately because you are very seasick, Hannah. Don't tell anyone what to do because no one likes it. And if you do, just make it sound like it's a suggestion and make sure you smile. Also, this tip is entirely optional. Cats are not easier than dogs, but, but rats are sneezier than logs. Thanks for watching. Um, I've also added these things on the side. You can continue your binge by watching one of these videos or clicking this button to subscribe or clicking this button to subscribe and then watching one of these videos. And it'd actually be really cool if you hit this button because I'm almost at 100K. And I kind of want to get there.